here with Salio Suso, Kora master. What is a Kora? A Kora is a traditional instrument, been passed down from father to son, from father to son. And they keep up the life of tradition. Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful instrument. Yeah. Where does this come from? Come from the Gambia, West Africa. The first thing I learned about is that it's in open D. Or yeah. like that's, what, as a guitar player, that's how I would describe yeah. it. It's in open D as well. So each one that you have is in a different tuning? Yeah, this one and then and the big one. Those are same key, but different tuning. Mm. It's, it's pretty common in guitar mm -hmm. too, to tune down to drop D. Yeah. It like gets you a little bit into that bass territory. And, and is that what this lowest string here is on the, yeah. he's on? This one. Yeah, we're in the same same yeah. octave too. Yeah. How many strings do we have here? We have here 21. You got me beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many octaves here? And it's all just the seven notes of the D major? Yeah. Are, are there any repeating notes or is it just all the way up the scale, up to 21 strings? Yeah, there's a repeating notes here, like this. Mm. Okay, so this one gets you lower octave and then it starts over on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are lowers. It yeah. sounds beautiful. Yeah. So pretty. When you tune it, you start it here in the right, then you go right and left. Because these are actives. Then you go. That's the skill. You're asking the chorus yeah. if he's ready to go yeah. to, to play. Uh -huh. Yeah. Were, were you using your fingernail there to get those like fast? Yeah. And you do that on both sides? Yeah, both sides, yeah. That is cool. Yeah. I love too how, given that this body is laid out the way it is, any note is going to resonate all the other yeah. strings. Yeah. It's just a small gourd, mm -hmm. but the sound is so big. Mm -hmm. How do you tune this? How do you See? find, yeah, how do you fine tune with this system? These rings. Yeah, what are these? Cow skin. Mm. Just like this. Just like the drum. Yeah. You cut it in the strap and you braid it around this neck. This is rosewood. That's pretty standard on guitars too. This is yeah. rosewood as well. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the music is our families. Yeah, it's weird that we it's all our families, found, yeah. special instruments. You braid this cow skin around the neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to 21. Then you put it in the sun to dry. And then when you get, when you start getting dry, every now and then you go around, you put a, a little water in there so that it don't stick one place. Mm -hmm. So you keep moving it. You need to yeah. take a whole week to tune it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do the fine tuning here? Where do you the, fine tune the strings? Right here. Oh, really? So yeah. it really is yeah. just... you push it up and down. You push the whole braid? Yeah. yeah. Push it up if it's too much and then put it, put, bring it down like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is the bridge attached? Is yeah. that just a floating bridge or is it attached on the inside? No, it's just a floating bridge. Mm. Yeah. I guess that would bridge. make sense with any other instrument yeah. that has a drum on yeah. it. The benefit of the bridge, this ankle strings here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Know? Oh, those yeah. are like, it's like totally a, different material. I think, yeah, different materials. But you know, even before the nylon, we used animal skin, yeah. antelope skin. Mm -hmm. When was this instrument invented? This you know? was invented in the 18th century. Yeah. It was fascinated to uh, the people in that time because they have all kind of drums to play something like Kora in, and this, the way the sound is. So much softer. So much softer. softer and, and, and one of the king used to say that it has a life saving sound. So much so he liked the Kora to open up his court. You know, everybody get, get angry, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> so this would calm people down. And the king would say, okay, let's bring the Kora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can understand why. It has yeah. a very, very calming sound. Yeah. When the tradition is, it, they, they respect it very much. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people think like a drum, but it's not a drum. No, it just has a drum as the resonating body, exactly. like, like, a, like a banjo yeah. or pretty much all acoustic instruments, I guess, exactly. but particularly with a drum on top of it. Mm -hmm. and that really helps the other strings resonate. It just has a beautiful sound. Yeah. 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 Well, would you like to jam a bit more? Yeah. Ba 
Allo la jo la ye la Kere fa ba la dambo be baria Ye jo le ba moy la Jo le ba moy la Sa de sa la de jo le ba moy la Ye de mo be de jo le ba moy la Bolun la salate, juluba moida. Kela banyinde, kela banyinde, badi ma fulola kela banyinde. <laughs> I love the Cora. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. That's the first song of the Cora. Yeah. yeah. The when, first song of the, the Cora? The first song of the Cora, yeah. When the, like, when the Cora was built, that was the first song. That's why every Cora player is begin to play Cora, you have to start with this. Really? That's yeah. awesome. In order to have a blessings of the Cora. Mm -hmm. Say, well, I like that song, I like that song. But to have a blessings, you have to start with this one. You have one. to start with this one. That's so cool. Yeah. I've never heard about that in any other instrument. Yeah. We have one particular song. Yeah, they call it Kelefa Ba. Yeah. The Kelefa Ba literally means the mastermind of the army. Oh, so this is an yeah. army song. Yeah, it's a war song. Really? Because oh, yeah. it sounds like the exact opposite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of those song, the songs are titled for important people. Nowadays, we make love songs and dancing songs, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But the main, the main traditional songs, you know, about... Um, like theme songs almost yeah, for people. Yeah. Could I see how you, you're getting those really fast notes with your right hand with just one finger. How mm -hmm. are you doing that? So you're just switching between the two sides really quickly yeah, and muting yeah, the strings. Yeah. That is very And then cool. go, going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, going back and forth. Look difficult, but it's not. It's it. <laughs> no, it does look not. difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and are you doing any um like upstrokes too? I saw with your right hand you were doing kind of like a. Were you doing that, or am, am I just hearing that? Like this. Okay, so you're always pulling up. Yeah. It just it's sounds like. like yeah, yeah. That at some point, but because you're going back and forth and you have the two notes on yeah. both sides. Yeah, but sometimes I do that too. I do. Yeah, that is really cool as yeah. well. That's a sound yeah. that I love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you're muting it with the other side of your thumb. That's really cool. So are you always playing with your nails? Sometimes I play with my fingertips. Most likely uh, play my fingernails. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you have to be careful sometimes. When you play too much and then they, the nail get break. Yeah. This nail from yeah. playing guitar, from yeah. playing bass, yeah. actually fell off. Yeah. Because that, I was yeah, yeah. playing bass yeah. so much. So yeah. That Don't I know it? So do you play yeah. with just your thumb and first finger on both hands? Yeah. It's always those two? Yeah, always the, these two. Then the two, other three are yeah. on the handles? Yeah. These two green strings here, these are both these then? Yeah. And then the other one is the higher octave on the right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, octave. And then is that high one colored green as well? Yeah, it yeah. is. So that's also a D. Yeah. So there isn't really a standard yeah. tuning, it's just the standard is being in an open yeah. something. Oh, I see there's another green string up here too. Of course, because that goes to this. Yeah. And that kind of helps you know where you are on the exactly, chord, I imagine. Exactly, yeah. With there being so many strings, you need yeah. those just to know where you are. You want to try it? Yes, yes, I sure do. <laughs> Play the guitar too if you want. I'll try it. I just have it in open D, so... <laughs> there you go. You have your three fingers here. So yeah. Just hold, and then you always use this. It's going to take me a second to wrap my head around. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's it. That's Ooh. It. Took me a second to find the note I wanted. Yeah. How long have you been playing guitar? <laughs> <laughs> this long? Zero, zero. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got lucky. Right. You're doing great too on the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds great. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely are. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played a stringed instrument where you have a handle. Like if you play this for a long time, as uh, of course you have, you get that muscle memory in there because you have the that anchor uh, point. Of it. Yeah. A lot of guitar players will have different techniques to like putting their fingers onto the instrument to keep that muscle memory here, but here it's just like. Yeah. It's right here. You yeah. got you got a handle, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. <laughs> Wish I had nails. If I could just grow nails all of a sudden, maybe I'd be <laughs> playing it a bit more correctly. I found a few strings that I like. There's a nice third. That wasn't intentional, but I like where that went. You like that? <laughs> The Cora. <laughs> Doing it from that side, it kind of feels like just a guitar with open strings and a yeah, ton yeah, of them. Yeah. yeah. Shall we try another one in a different key? Another Cora? Yeah. We got like the Contra Cora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what key is this one in? This one is F. F. This one is my composition. Mm. Mandingo and English. Yeah. What is Do, it? Dokadolo Mandingo, which means some know something. Some know something. Yeah, some, some don't know. know. Something, some don't know. Yeah. Some know something, some don't know. Shredding at the end there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been playing? Since I was eight years old. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I try this one? Wanna yeah. wanna switch again? Yep. Mine's an F as well. Cool. It's a different feel. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a different plate, right? <laughs> yeah. This string is quite a bit different. Is that for a, a different tone? No, no tone? this one is that's like an extra bass. Oh, I see it's two strings coiled together. Yeah. I guess these strings are wound. Yeah. It's kind of like a wound nylon string. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I guess I have seen that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I really like the key of F, I guess. I know I've said this like 12 times already, but I love the Cora. <laughs> I love it. I didn't think I'd just end up jamming so long. How long have we been and here? We've been here for a few days. You, I feel you like. made, you made, yeah. <laughs> you made your own songs. Thank you. Yeah, I really yeah. like that melody there. Yeah. It took me a little while to, yeah. to find the few notes and visually line up to where I know that I could get them every time because yeah. I don't have the muscle memory. Yeah. But with this instrument, you can just strum and you know yeah. you're going to get something beautiful, especially yeah. on this side. like. That is just lovely. <laughs> and it's just always there for you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Your guitar playing was great, yeah. too. Day one. Yeah, day one. Crushing it. I'm also very impressed at how well this keeps tuned. Yeah. I would see, like, if I were to just look at this, I wouldn't think that it would stay in tune as well as it does. When the one goes half step down, mm -hmm. all of them. Oh, really? Yeah. So it all just stays in yeah, tune? Yeah. I wish guitars were like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is just me being a Midwest boy, but this just sound like the Midwest to me, which is odd because this is definitely very African. This is not for Midwest emo, but... Uh, do you have any tips in getting those really fast, like... the shredding that you were doing? <laughs> but, uh, we call that brimenting. Brimenting? Brimenting. Brimenting? Yeah. You're so articulate with it that it's always... It almost sounded yeah. like one string. Um, yeah. To where how... Um, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. You keep it, keep it going. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that's, a, that's an easier way for me to get a whole lot of notes at once. Yeah. Sounds like you're just being transported to like the perfect <laughs> beach with yeah. clear water. Welcome to paradise, you know? Yeah, and I see what you mean by this one. It has like a duller type of sound. Yeah. And, and given that the note it is, it's kind of a bit more subtle. It's a bit sharper and then... Yeah, that was that's a bit like duller. And I can see how that... Ooh, oh, yeah. it's a power chord. Yeah. It's a power chord. It's a power chord. <laughs> yeah. I love this instrument. <laughs> yeah, how could you not? Yeah. This has a pickup in it as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Yeah, so it's got a the piezo pickup, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I want to try to play something on here. This is very much a maybe. Mm -hmm. You're going for it. Yep. I hear it happening. You already know what it is. I hear it happening. <laughs> this is much, it's really hard to find the right notes on this. <laughs> yeah, just because I'm not used to it, yeah, of course, because yeah. it, it moves to the other side. I know you played Kodo before. Yeah, but all those are like more linear, or maybe linear is the right word, but there's one set of strings that goes up. But then yeah. here you have two. Kodo is more like a piano. Yeah, 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 totally. Here it's a little bit harder to wrap your head around. And there's no frets. Where, where are the frets? Yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much you, 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 for letting you. us come here and see this amazing instrument mm, in the lesson. No problem. Really no appreciate problem. it. Anything you want to plug on YouTube? My website, saliwasuso.com. Yeah. I'm sure this isn't the last time we look at a really fascinating instrument on this channel. If you would like to subscribe, that's right here. Thanks again so much. All right. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, after playing this for I so know, long, how can you? Say, what am I going to scream the end screen? The lowest your voice has ever been. And I know. Thanks for having me. You got it. Thank you for being here. So lovely.